haven't seen the Mean Girls in like maybe two months, ever since the Kelly Keegs dust up. I'm just wondering if it's a protest. It is. They, they're, they're scared that people are going to be mean to them. Is the, the name girls. of their show Mean Girl? So as long as they're doing the show, I got no problem by it. But I'm not their boss, so it's not up to me. Okay. But yeah, there's a lot of people that, that aren't in the office. Why does Mean Girl have to be here? I think that they, you know, I don't know. They, they don't want to be here. That's fine. That's not my fault. I could have talked to them a hundred times. I gave them the opportunity. I told them I'll wait a million years, however long it is for you to get over it. They don't want to talk to me. I don't care what other people do. Barstool Eric keeps his head down, grinds, works, tries to cash a paycheck till we're all gone in a year and a half, two years. Numbies don't <laughs> lie, dog. And if they're getting numbies, then they don't need to be here. Salsa. Shaven. No, 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 no. Yes, it I've is. This look before, it looks so much better. Such a dick. I'm not a dick. I'm just doing the bed. You're gonna see all my no, fucking you need, chins. You need to be fucking. Hey, can you get us a razor and shaving cream? Oh, he's being a dick. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not getting out of the bed. You're God. Yeah. <laughs> what is this with rash? You look like such a fucking badass. <laughs> what is the matter with your face? I don't know. <laughs> You're gonna look so funny. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> let, me see, let me see. Give me a look. Okay, let me see. You can see! Like, I don't have to look at you for you to see. <laughs> Check this out. <clears throat> this was game seven, 2012, Eastern Conference semifinals. That's with Andre Gudal and Drew Holiday. That's the process starting right here, right now. And yeah. where are we? We're exactly where we were. Yeah. Purgatory. It sucks. It sucks. It's a yeah. bad situation. You... But then you have Chris Clemmer coming out of the fucking clouds. It hasn't said a single thing about the Celtics his entire tenure here, except when they're up by 50 in the fourth quarter of game seven. Then he's throwing shots. You, in the fourth quarter, coming out with your fucking wheeling in with FDR's legs, saying that fucking the Sixers are trash, and you're all almighty as a Celtics fan. I didn't even know you were a Celtics fan. You're a Mets fan. You can be both things. You know, you can talk, come talk. You can be both me. things, but you can't say in the fourth quarter and start throwing shots. No, you you threw a shot. No, I didn't. I mean, I had seen Nobody knows you're a Celtics fan. Nobody asked. I had season tickets for years. What? I was at the game. Motherfucker, I, I was at the game when they won. I had season tickets. So where were you all series? Where were you last year when they were in the finals? I was, I was working here. I was at the game. I went to an NBA Finals game last year. I wasn't hired here, you dumb fuck. You have Hank and Dave all celebrating. You would think that they won every single championship since Larry Bird broke his back in 86. Yeah. They won one. Yeah. One. Nice. Only time you won a fucking championship is when you had three Hall of Famers in your starting five. And you can only win one. Why? Because you had Doc Rivers as your <laughs> fucking head coach. Did you get a look at the soul patch yet? Yeah, he looks like a, <laughs> he looks like an off the strip Vegas blackjack dealer. It's huge. I mean, it's huge, huge for the summer. It was uh, hanging over my head. Beth moved to Chicago. Really didn't want a soul patch. It just feels great. Feels great to win. Feels great. It was a blowout. Seeing Max with the soul patch makes it so much better. He just looks like a dude that knows nothing about sports. Like doesn't care about <laughs> sports. Doesn't watch sports and just loves like music and like twelve percent IPAs. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Great. 
clean it up a little. Just quick clean up. Let's take some pictures, get this done over with. These are nice shirts, I like. They're athletic. Max, you wanna get the shirt on? I also had a rash underneath. There we go. That has since kind of gone away. So it's oh. nice. Freezing. So cold. My face hasn't seen sunlight in cool. eight years. Max, you want to put on this new shirt? He looks like he goes to Guitar Center and plays like every guitar, <laughs> but doesn't buy it and then just leaves. Pulling it off. Pulling it off. Dude, he looks like Chumley no, from Pawn Stars. But I think the Simpsons cool. comic book guy is the best comparison. Thanks, Bill. Okay, cool. Cool. Good photo shoot. Good cool. shoot. Yeah, sweet. Great timing for this one, fellas. It's almost coincidental. More than a coincidence? <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> None of those pictures are for any of us. It's just for you. We texted Pilar last night and I was like, say that we have a photo shoot so we can get as many high quality pictures of Matt as we fucking. That is such bullshit. I'm gonna need all those, Aria. That is such yeah. bullshit. <laughs> I can't believe, can't believe you didn't think about that. You, know, you, were, you were like, fucking photo shoots on a Monday. You know, it'd be great. I'm gonna yeah. put that up and be like, this guy, like, buy some coffee so this guy can grow his hair back. You didn't realize that? No, I didn't realize it. I, I don't know. I feel like we've been talking about doing a merch photo shoot for a while. I yeah, thought it just happened. Just well, yeah, it turns out when it's like Big Head's trying to do it for a spite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty quickly. It wasn't spite. It's not spite. It's more. No, it's not. I mean, yeah, you did drink champagne before the biggest future of my life. <laughs> Why do you always fall for the Monday photo? <laughs> I just want to remember this forever. You look like every dude at a disturbed concert. Yeah, the, the the comparisons that I've been getting the past. 12 hours have been, you know, remarkable. That's the size of a sensor bar we have to put over Tommy's dick. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the whip, the whip. So the wide, the wide penis. You look like Big J Okerson. I'm getting that a lot. Which is a compliment. I love Big J Okerson. I think he's hilarious. <laughs> it looks terrible. Thank you. It hasn't seen light in eight years, so. It, it, yeah, at least it, it, it was now rather than after Memorial Day weekend or something. You ever seen Tito from Rocket Power? We literally had one new shirt. You have Father's Day merch, you know. It's we big. didn't do any Father's Day merch. Yeah. Solara was like, got a really good photographer. And it was just Ari. I thought that was like, he's gonna walk in, see Ari, and be like, wait a second. <laughs> Didn't happen. He's just it's too riled. Hey, anybody know I'm a team? I win a year. I haven't seen you since uh, we, we went to NASCAR together. Yeah, that was a while ago. NASCAR was crazy. That thing was loud. I that was a lot of fun, right? Yes, it was. I didn't know it was gonna be like that. That shit was different. How's yeah. everything bad? You good? I'm, I'm grinding, man. Yeah. Waiting for myself to win everything. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, man. <laughs> All right, Chase. So, obviously, some new beef. You and Nadu. What's going on there? <laughs> Damned if I know. He tweeted out a video of just him laughing and giving the middle finger with the caption, Knicks, after the Knicks loss. <laughs> I'm a Knicks fan, admittedly, I was triggered during that, that pissed me off. So when the Sixers lost, I just thought I'd return the favor, give him some of his own medicine, post that video, and then he replies like, I bet the Celtics catch up. It's like, what, aren't you a Sixers fan? So I think I just wrote back like bad fan or fake fan or whatever, something like that. Something I learned early with this company is you can't take yourself too seriously. Just take an L for a second. This would have been over this morning, or five minutes later, had he just been like, yeah, fuck, that sucked. Or yeah, we sucked. But no, now he goes in on being a fan and calls that like stupid behavior, like nacho eating foam fill. Like, dude, we're all fans. Yeah. You think I give a flying fuck all about fandom? All I care about is fucking money. I'm a gambler. I ain't a fucking nacho eating motherfucker with a foam finger. Stand for something or fall for anything. The guy stands for nothing. At this point, like, I don't even care. Like, betting something with that much juice really big is just poor 
financial <laughs> management of your <laughs> bankroll. So good on him if he won a bet, but like we literally have tweets from like weeks ago that were like, oh, like talking about how us as Eagles fans. And he has a tweet from last year like laughing about James Harden, how we Sixers fans have won like three in a row or something like that. I don't want James Harden in Philadelphia. I don't want to give up Seth Curry. Get the fuck out of here, motherfucker. Bang, bang, Harden gang, motherfuckers. If this is all true and you're not a fan of anything except your bet slips, I don't want to see you celebrate anything except your bet. So if the Eagles win the Super Bowl, okay, celebrate your Eagles money line bet slip. Don't celebrate the fact they're with the team from day one. You didn't want Jalen Hurts drafted. You're a fake fan and you're a liar. We'll push back there on the Hurts draft. Nobody wanted to go on Hurts draft. Everybody's fair. 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 Yes. But Nadu is a Yankees fan. I, I'm actually really surprised. I got like cold reached out to by over half a dozen people that I would not expect. A lot of people that are not at this company that were like, fuck that guy. <laughs> a, I had no intention of going after him. B, I had no idea there was this much disdain for this guy. I mean, I've met him half a dozen times has been perfectly fine and pleasant. I, I don't bear any ill will towards him. Just a couple weeks for nachos. <laughs> mean girls calling him gay. Yeah. The do slandering nachos. My guy Joey Lane going saying nachos are overrated. Tough couple weeks for nachos. I'm a, I'm a fan of nachos. As a straight married guy, big nachos guy. Let's let's eat more nachos. Yeah. Not showing the slip. I mean, I said this I think one, you gotta show a slip, and two, I don't think I, I didn't like when he said, I don't care about the fan thing. Like, he's, if he doesn't want to be a fan, yeah. he'll be a fan. But you can't say if that. I, everything you've ever done relevant is yeah, the fan I, clips. I, I know that I'm a fan. I understand that. But like him saying, like he should be celebrated for hitting a minus two fifty bet. Yeah. If I said, hey, take the Yankees against the A's tonight, what's the spread? Minus three hundred. Like, I'm not fucking doing yeah. that. All he kept saying was, I'm about the money. I don't care. <laughs> And then I think Rico was food was asking how the Amish were and he lost his mind. <laughs> <laughs> the man is not Amish. That's, no. We know he's not. I will tell you this, all things come back to Terry Mayrose. Was Terry right? Is Nadu a pathological liar? I think yes. This is starting to show like he is. I like James Harden. I've always liked James Harden. Oh, that's a bad that's personality trait. <laughs> yeah. This is an aside like to be like my guy's James Harden. Like that's tough. And I have a lot of similar interests. Yeah. Oh, all right, all right. Uh, yeah, now you're back. Yeah, we love, you know, big booty bitches. Oh, okay. Hey. What about Andy. what about great racks? He loves them too, exactly. We're, yeah. We're to get to the rack. Are you an ass or a titty guy? He's an ass guy. That's the hard an ass guy. guy. No, he posts a lot of cleavage. Well, yeah, what are you, Nadu? Oh, yeah. What are you, dude? Titty guy. Fuck fandom, which one are you? Bro, that's such a hard question, man. I always I always wrestle with that because... Yeah. <laughs> Get me invited to a party at Matt Montauk at Dave's house and you can have it. Okay, I want it now. I'll Should I text first. Silvana and say, hey, Silves, <laughs> bikini contest, oh. <laughs> poolside? You can have it. Thanks. But text Dave, Joey, can Joey come to the pool party this weekend? Okay. Or say, jo <laughs> pool party, Joey, question mark? Thanks. I want to go to that party. Have you thrown anything out in the bin? I found two pairs of Billy Football's boxer briefs that I'm selling to the highest bidder. I'm going to outbid myself. I mean, I threw so much shit up and I'm just filling up other shit that I didn't have before. It's like a regular old swap meet. Is that what it's called? A Yankee swap? That sounds racist. I don't know what that meant. What's a Yankee swap? Is that bad? Don't you so. dumpster diving pig. Are Steelers good? These are Big T's bloomers. This is what Mrs. T wears. Mrs. T senior. Peel of shorts? What? Size 12. These are literally brand new. What size do you wear? 13. Me too. Who wears a size 12? Why do people know about this? This is Dave Portman Rosé. Oh my god. Organic wine. Why don't we sell this stuff? A charger for my vibrator. This is like a Camara, huh? We should use this on our show for something. I'm busy. Are you poor? Why are you using this trash? Come with a laptop. Oh, a lap, a full laptop. That's my laptop, I gave it away. <laughs> and for dessert, I said, hey, make sure you get the Snickers pie. The Snickers cake that we always get, right? Yeah. The waiter threw a fit. Said we don't have nothing like that. We got nothing like that. And I told Rome, I texted him, I said, hey, it's the cake with the peanut butter sauce on the bottom. Isn't that correct? Okay, the guy was telling Rome, we don't have nothing like on the menu like that. So what you need to do, talk to Mark. This guy has to lose his job. I, put, I showed him the text that said peanut butter sauce. Say that, say that again? Give me his name, I'll have you fired today. <laughs> no problem. I'll get the name for you and I'll text you. All right. All right.
It was like Jimmy or something like that. He's out of a job. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was, I was begging for the peanut butter cake. I said, give me the Snickers cake. And he said, there's no Snickers cake. And then I showed, and then I said, the one with the peanut butter sauce. And then he said, we don't have that. And I showed him the text messages. This was the third interaction. I said, look at the text messages that say peanut butter sauce. It's a different name. And he was like, I, we don't even have that as an ingredient. And at that point, my wife wanted the cheesecake. That's so crazy. That's so sad. It can't be like a secret menu item, I don't think. People no. next to us might have even had it. I need to know if that was just a random dude <laughs> or Jerry's buddy. Was that just a random guy you were speaking to or your buddy? No, my buddy. You, that would be some big time Jerry Paul if you could call any restaurant and just be like, listen, this guy needs to go. <laughs> <laughs> I thought for a second that's what I walked into. I was gonna say, well, this wow. guy will be out of a job. Yeah, <laughs> you can't do that. No, not to Jerry. Did you help them with the reservation? Yeah. So if I ever need a carbone plug, you're the guy. Dude, I mean, yeah, but like, they're they're stoolies in there, bro. And they still wronged our guy. Yeah. Any, if anybody from Carbone is watching, uh, feel free to DM me to make things right. <laughs> a red turtleneck? This fucking slop pig has been going through the trash for 45 minutes. A bandana? Dunsey Cats a gang. R. I. P. You want more of this? Mm. Philly football. <laughs> I already have one as a pillowcase in my house, so I don't need a second. Oh, I can put this around my neck for when I jump in the pool. That's a weight. I know. <laughs> this is actually a what? silhouette of Joey. Who would have donated this? Plus size women's jumpsuit. There's some good stuff in here. It's not even in there. Uh, Oatmeal. Billy Football's essential sauce. <gasps> I've been waiting for this for years. <laughs> this is Billy Football's essential we, sauce. I actually need to find my hat. <laughs> Where's my hat? Help me. What does it look like? Yeah, I got a salad. You can't be looking fat in front of Josh. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, another fucking you. camera. You missed it, you missed it. All right, I did a sick, the magic, you, should, we, should we recreate the sick trick I did on Josh? He was like looking that way. Hey, ready? Yeah, see, and see. How many smoke today? Just like... Oh, classic. Oh, yeah, classic. 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 Before the cameras were rolling, pride. Tommy was asking Josh for money for rent. No, that's, not, <laughs> that's not exactly how he was I, said I, would take, I said I would take a loan. Always good to see Jay on. <laughs> Tomato sauce. Look at this. Vibrator. So, uh, haven't seen the Mean Girls in like maybe two months, ever since the Kelly Keegs dust up, and it dawned on me that. Maybe they're protesting coming to the office. I actually texted Alex. I was like, are you guys protesting? She said no. Hey, I have a question. Yeah. So the Mean Girls, they actually like don't come to the office. Anymore. No, they just stopped coming to the office. Now like as a protest, I saw a clip and they were doing their show from like one of their houses. They haven't been here in months. Are they protesting? It is. Because they. They're scared that people are going to be mean to them. But is the, the mean name girls. of their show Mean Girl? Yeah. You like should it. come into the office, though. You yeah. should come in. I am a big believer in coming to the office. I think good things happen when you get in the mix. I mean, in Chicago, it's literally going to be the only rule is you have to come every day. You have to be down for anything. So streaming, stool scenes, everything. If you want to take a personal day because you don't want to be filmed, that's fine. But there won't be any showing up to the office and being like, turn the cameras off. It dawned on me the other day, maybe we're getting broken up with and don't even realize it. I'd love to see the Mean Girls in the office. I enjoy spending time with Alex and, um, what's the other one's name? Jordan. Jordan. I like spending time with Alex and Jordan. Should they come in? Yes. Do they need to come in? No. And numbies don't lie, dog. And if they're getting fucking numbies, then they don't need to be here. But you would like them to be here. Yeah, it's boring when like no one's here. I, I mean, hello. Hey, Joey, we should do it. Oh, he's not here. <laughs> so now I'm wasting away on the blog because my fucking. So is he the meanest girl, you think? It is not even close. Joey is the meanest girl, arguably in all of New York City. No, they should come in. Is that the consensus? What, what does Keegs think? Um, I have no idea what the numbers are. I've never known what the numbers are. Some people come into work and some people don't come into work. I don't know if that's important or not. I I don't know. <laughs> just, I don't know if that's important or not. That's the worst answer ever. <laughs> Fucking go off, queen. No, I'm not going to go off because I get in trouble every time I go off. And I, people are like, you're too mean, you're too mean. I'm not too mean. I'm saying Here's things what that everybody's thinking. Kelly Keegs and they bullied, I don't know. mercilessly bullied these two young Listen, women. I, it's worse now that they didn't, wouldn't talk to me. It, and I feel, and I don't, it was like no, eighth grade. 
Mary Boolean all over again. Kelly Keegs just put these two girls in a headlock and said, get out of my office. You know me. That's exactly what it did. And now they're just, and now they're just gallivanting around the country. I think that they, you know, I don't know. They don't want to be here. That's fine. That's not my fault. I could have talked to them a hundred times. I gave them the opportunity. I told them I'll wait a million years, however long it is for you to get over it. They don't want to talk to me. As a man who supports women, I want them to come back into the office. I'm fine either way. <laughs> Not only the Mean Girls, but I think a lot of people are in here. I mean, numbers numbers do speak if your podcast does good. I also think that the drama has blown over enough that people aren't like mad at them or going to be catty at them if they come to the office. And the longer they're out of the office, there's no issues here. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of shows that aren't aren't here. Is the political answer? So as long as they're doing the show and successful, I got no problem by it. But I'm not their boss, so it's not up to me. Tulsa, the numbers, Mason. What do they mean? Gaz has been in Miami just hoarding his money, not working for the last two years. And then he claims he got an Airbnb in New York from September to December. So he said he's going to come back to New York and, you know, really stir the pot. Gaz said he's uh, got an Airbnb for two months in New York. So he's really going to be working hard. <laughs> he said Tell, what happened. Tell him what happened, son. Gaz, what happened? He said What did you do to my boy Spider? He asked me if he made the right career decision. That's all. What you said? I said I wouldn't you said, allow. You said, I said, "Oh, you made a good career decision because I'm going to be here for two months I next said, year." I'm going to be here from September to December. I'm coming back. Yeah. He got in Spider's head. Spider sometimes, you know, overthinks things. So, but he's fine. We, I talked to him. He's fine. He he basically showed up in like the 25th hour of the deal and was like, mm -hmm. "Let me just try to get everyone to stay here." It's like, dude, maybe you should have been here for the last three years. So don't listen to him, Spider. He's got an Airbnb. He got an Airbnb in New York. For three months, Spider. You got an Airbnb in New York for three months, he'll probably be here for three weeks. Guys just basically just said bad career decisions. Spider's got no commitment to the been... company. <laughs> he's got a podcast here with his co-host is here. But yeah, there's a lot of people that, that aren't in the office. Spider's not going to be in the office. So. <laughs> Why does Mean Girl have to be here? Basically, Gaz was like, I still got it after he got Spider to get up and freak out. But Spider also was probably trying to talk about real stuff. <laughs> it just got out of control. <laughs> it was more about like our jobs here, like Chicago, New York, how it's gonna be. And let me tell you, Gaz still got it. <laughs> he riled him up bad. But Spider's my guy, so I don't, I don't I'm not upset. You're not upset, you're just disappointed. I, I just thought I would have your support. Gaz is going to try to start a New York first Chicago rivalry. I obviously don't think it is that, but he will. But the problem is he'll try to start it. I told him to his face. He'll try to start it. He'll do it for like two months. And then he'll go back to Miami and, you know, sit on the beach and I'll keep grinding. So we'll see how that goes. All right. So yesterday, Gaz makes an appearance in the office, I guess just to like piss people off. Came in here immediately, told me I was making a wrong career decision for moving to Chicago. I was like, dog, it's nice of you to say this. Three weeks after the fucking lease is signed, like where were you when all these conversations were being had? So I was a little frustrated. He told me it probably wasn't a good career move, that I've got a great thing going with rubbing his race and check it out, subscribe our NASCAR podcast, which is true. It's great. I remain of the opinion. It's in my career's best interest to, to make the move. But that being said, it was frustrating and not reassuring Gaz's energy and contributions to said discussion yesterday. And you know, I'm 50-50, to be honest with you. I like New York. I lived in New York for almost a decade. It's been very good to me. It got me my dream job. It got me my college degree. Some of the best friends I've ever met. That being said, on the other hand, you know, if there's a job you're gonna move for, it's this one. I've seen New York. I've done it. Let's try something new. And I would appreciate people's support. Sorry if I'm asking too much here, but God damn. <laughs> It's a big life decision. You can't just at least lie to me and be like, go get him, Spider. That's all we needed. Yeah. 
Alright. It's so sore tomorrow. That wasn't that bad. No, no it was really impressive. Yeah. yeah.